Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm actually doing a project that I've been wanting to do for a while. My friend gave me this coffee table a while back and it's wood and I've painted the top of it. I've sanded and spray painted with a paint and primer uh, the top of it. It's not a perfectly even spray paint, like it's kind of splotchy, but it's okay because what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be pouring resin over this and trying to make it look like marble. Um, I've never done any kind of marble pours before, so I really hope it comes out okay uh, because I love this table and I really don't want to ruin it. <laughs> but that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to take you guys along, uh, I'll adjust the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing, and then wish me luck. I <laughs> hope it goes okay. Alright, so this is what the table looked like before and I'm only going to be doing the top of it. I'm not going to be doing the sides or underneath, uh, really, because I didn't want to sand all of that. Um, so this is what it looks like before. <laughs> Hi, baby. She doesn't know about all this wind. <laughs> So I sanded this with 80 grit and then 180 grit, um, really just because that's all I had. I'm sure there's probably better stuff for me to have used, but that's what I had, so that's what I used. And then I am using a uh, white, or actually it's a French cream color paint and primer. It's okay that it's not a perfectly even coat because I'm resining over it anyways. It was also super windy, so difficult to spray paint. Also, I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm having to do this inside. The sun's about to go down and um, I don't have like a ring light, so the lighting is probably going to change and be all shadowy and not the best. Uh, so, sorry about that. And now, as Evan and Caitlin would say, resin time, resin time, do 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 resin time. So the brand of resin I'm using is Stone Coat Countertops. I'm using the Countertop Epoxy and it's got the white base tint in it. Um, and then I didn't have really the proper tool to spread it around, so I was using a, a little one and then I just gave up and decided to use my gloved hand to spread the resin around. And resin is self-leveling for anyone who doesn't know, so you know any kind of marks that I've left in it with my hands or anything, it all evens out and dries um, perfectly leveled. So what I'm doing now is I've used some black spray paint. I've just sprayed it on like a cardboard uh, piece that I have and then I'm dipping the brush in it and chopping it into the uh, table and then the lighter color that you see in there it's actually a metallic white so it, it looks a little more clear on the camera or like yellowy but it's actually going to give it a really nice shimmer and I didn't do it over the whole thing so that it's just going to be pretty subtle um, but I think it looks really really cool. And then I basically just keep doing the same thing, chopping in the black spray paint and a little bit of the metallic white. I'm also going around the edges just to make sure that the edges have some resin on them as well. And then I'm going in with a heat gun just to heat everything up so that the resin kind of moves around and breaks up a lot of the brush marks I was leaving. So this is what it looks like right after I'm done. Uh, everything is still wet, so I think it came out looking really cool. And this is what it looks like with a flash, so you can actually see some of the sparkly shimmers from the metallic white. And then after I let the resin cure for 24 hours, I'm going back over everything with a clear coat of resin. And 24 hours later, everything is cured and we put the table back in the living room. So just as a reminder, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I'm so happy with how it came out. Of course it's not perfect and it was my first time doing something like this. Um, this was by no means a tutorial. I'm sure 
I didn't do the best job, but I'm pretty pleased with it and I think it looks really, really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!